I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought, I'll be free one day From society's restraints, money, clout and fame Mud disease, a plague, we all love to hate Have to play the game, have to make a name All our insecurities are on This display. is war with the enemy Think that it was meant to be Living in a time where disease is on every So, it's entirely plausible as a modern tactical airsofter that you have more than one airsoft pistol at your disposal. Now, while that brings with it a, a certain level of satisfaction, I'm sure, it does bring about a little bit of a quandary, certainly where holstering these weapons are concerned. Do you go down the route of something like a, a universal fabric holster, perhaps a, a Viper drop leg or something like that, where everything's sort of held in place with a lot of Velcro, some poppers and that kind of thing, it all tends to flop around and nothing ever feels quite right, does it? And certainly from a, a, an ability to draw the weapon quickly, it's not ideal because you have to peel the Velcro, pull the poppers, whatever it may be. It's not great. Or you can go down the route of buying an individual polymer holster for everything in your collection. That too can get expensive uh, because obviously a different polymer holster for every one and then do you buy the polymer holster just for the pistol or do you buy one that has enough room for an underbarrel torch oh my god the list goes on and it can get very complicated and very costly very quickly but what if there was a better option well surprise surprise people if you haven't guessed by the video title i am here to give you that option and that is this no not the gold match this now this is the business end of the Universal Service Weapon Holster from ASG. Typically it doesn't come with this particular drop leg, it actually comes with a belt retention, but as with all of these sort of devices, you can swap and change how you retain it to you, whether it be on a, bo uh, a belt, whether it be on a drop leg, whether it be mollied to your chest rig, it really doesn't make any difference. All we're worried about today is this little bar and its accompanying pistol attachment. So as you can see, how this works is we have this bar that has some small lugs inside that are ever so slightly sprung just by the nature of their own design and we have a retention hole. And this slides into place and locks the pistol in. And as you can see, it ain't going nowhere. To withdraw the pistol, just a modicum of force. And it doesn't take a lot of force. You don't have to be the incredible Hulk to remove this thing. But it's really, really well designed and uh, you can rest assured nothing's going nowhere. The other upshot to this is because it is essentially symmetrical in its design, it actually functions ambidextrously. Whether you holster it on your left hand side, whether you holster it on your right hand side, whether you holster it on your right hand side, but would like to draw it as a cross draw pistol, <gasps> whatever you takes your fancy, it's miraculous. Now I can't recommend this system enough, it really does go on pretty much anything with an accessory rail. So as you will see, uh, I will be putting pictures up somewhere maybe across my face as well, uh, to show you the various pistols that I've attached this thing with. But it's worth noting that uh, certain bigger pistols, things like uh, the Mark 23, some uh, Desert Eagle, stuff like that, are just gonna be a little bit too wide. That being said, if you were to get one of the Desert Eagle variants uh, from let's say Cybergun or even Cyma, do a, an AEP version of the Desert Eagle, uh, they will more than likely fit because they come with a standardized pick rail on the bottom of the, the, the Desert Eagle as well. Certainly though, the Tokyo Marui one is too wide. The other thing to note as well is that it doesn't just stop with pistols. Uh, because this is a pick rail attachment, it can go on pretty much anything. Now there is a caveat to that, weight. Um, the heaviest thing I have ever attempted to holster with this particular retention system 
is my Tokyo Marui gas breacher. Now, anyone who's used one of these will know that they weigh probably in excess of about four times as much as your standard pistol. And I have to say, I was very ginger in my movement with this thing because while it retained it the entirety of the game day and it never let go on me, I was always conscious of it because it felt like it was right on that limit point of letting go. Uh, that all it would take is for me to move a little bit too sharply, a little bit too quickly, and it, it would have just pulled free. That being said, I can't knock the fact that it did make it through a game day, so thus is recommended for breaches. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if I would go that far, but it's certainly something you might want to try if you have a breacher, because I know getting the belt retention system for one of these can be a little bit difficult, and... Uh, it never quite sits where you want it to and that kind of thing. So a possible option. The final point is that I really like about this particular ASG system is the fact that it gives you, certainly with a drop leg, for me it gives you that uh, visual appeal of something a little bit computer gamey. Uh, and what I mean by that is, obviously, when you play something like Halo, uh, Gears of War, anything like that, you can see that everything essentially retains to the player by magic or magnetism, most likely. Um, magnetic retention systems, uh, whereby the weapon magically sticks to Master Chief's thigh and that kind of thing. Or, you know, Marcus Phoenix is able to sling a massive sniper over his back and it just magically stays there. And what we have here is something that to all intents and purposes, although yes you can see it, it does give the impression that the pistol is just laid bare for you and not in a true holster to the true sense of the word. Uh, so yeah, I like that. I, it's a good visual aspect to this particular thing. And like I say, I cannot recommend this holster enough. It fits pretty much 90% of pistols on the market. Even some revolvers with a pick rail as you would see in the pictures. But yeah, great little system, great little setup, highly recommended, only about £40 and you'll basically be able to holster 90% of your collection. Okay guys, that's been my recommendation for holsters for today. If it's been of any help to you in a future purchase, or if this video has just proved entertaining in some way, whether you find me particularly funny, then a like and a subscribe is always welcome, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.